welcome back figured today was a good day to do a primary change on the iron head it's been a minute since i've done it so i'm trying out this new primary fluid by made by RevTech here uh, this is what was recommended to me by Bubba's Tri-City Cycles. So I'm going to go ahead and try it this year. For use in all 1971 and later, XL, XR, Harley-Davidson motorcycles. And mine's an XL CH. So we'll see how this works. See if it works better than the sports trans fluid I've been using for 20-some years now. All right, let's go ahead and get it uh, drained. I'm going to use an 11 sixteenths. And right under here, right there. So now I'm just going to loosen my drain plug. All right, I'm afraid to see what color this is going to be. Last time I pulled it out last year, it was chocolate milk. Oh, hey, that's not, that's not that bad. It's not as bad as it was last year. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let that drain. While that's draining, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my plug and put some new Permatex on there. All right, well, my primary fluid didn't look as old as I thought it was going to. Last year, it was a really light, milky color. But uh, this doesn't look too bad. It was still ready to be changed, so. All right, now, like I said before, I'm going to use this RevTech gear and chain case lube. First off, I'm going to take this off right here. This is where I'm going to fill it up. Oh, let's try fill it up right there and then if you look right down here right here pull that screw out and that tells me when it's full i'm gonna go ahead and fill it up until it starts running out of that hole once i got a nice little stream coming out of that hole i know she's full so let's go ahead and start filling her up Should take about three quarters of a quart and I think for some reason I think it always takes closer to a quart though I'm mean, gonna pretty much do this every year and I don't remember really ever having a little bit left over I think it takes the whole quart All right. now as you can see I've got the kickstand up on some bricks because when you do this, you want to do it with the bike uh, straight up and down, not on the kickstand. So either you can put it on a jack stand or put some bricks or a board under it or something. Just as long as it's straight up and down. There it goes. And there is still a little bit left in here. All right, well, I got a little bit left, and I don't really have a constant stream. You can see a little bit dripped out, but I'm going to put a little bit more in before I put my uh, screw back in. As you can see, I put some Teflon tape on there just to help it not leak. Let's go ahead and just put a little bit more in, then 
put that screw in there. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. All right, there we go. That's in. Now we're gonna put this cap back on. All right, there we go. I don't know if you can tell, but I used almost the whole quart. There's only a little bit left. Not much. I'll, uh, I'll keep that so I can top it off in a month or two in case it's leaking. But yeah, she's ready to fire up. She's ready to go for a ride. But before I do that, I'm going to adjust my push rods. So now I'm gonna come over on this side here and I'm gonna pull off my push rod covers. All right, to pull these covers off, all I gotta do is put a flathead screwdriver right here, pull down, pop it out. There we go, now I can get to the nut down there. one and then I'll just keep going on and take out all four of them Now I can pull all these up so I can get to those nuts down the bottom right there. There we go. As you can see, there's two nuts. One on the bottom, one on the top. Now, another thing you'd like to do is get a wire. Wire that you can, like a piece of copper wire that you can make a hook right here. Pull it up here and hook it to the top of here to hold that up for you or it's just going to keep falling down so i'm going to go grab a hook all right there we go just got a little wire to hold that up for me now this should be able to spin freely and it does not as you can see how tight that is so what well, first off what i got to do is come around on this side and take out one of my spark plugs this will make it easier to kick over. All right. Hook that like there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this off my chest and put it on a different mount for you guys so you can see better. All right, now I got my push rod covers pulled up. Got them held up here with the wire. You can see my top and bottom nut right there. Come around this side. You can see I already took out both my spark plugs. That's gonna be make it easier to kick over. All right, now let's go ahead and we wanna get our push rod to the bottom, bottom point, lowest point. It's high right now. There we go. Now that it's at its lowest point, feel my push rods. I can move it up and down and it spins freely. I want it to spin freely, but I do not want it to move up and down. So this one needs to be tightened up. 
do that I'm going to use 7 16 on the bottom and a half inch on the top. All right, there we go. See, I can spin it freely with two fingers, but I can't move it up and down. So that cylinder's done. And drop that down and move on to the next one. All right, now all that's left to do is put on my push rod covers. First off, I need to pull this up like that. This goes right in here. And then I just push down. And then, there we go, just like that. And that one's in. Now I just gotta do the other three like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. All right, there we go. Look at that, I put this fan out here this whole time. No one's even using it. That's nice. But all right, I got that all finished up. All my push rods are adjusted. Got brand new primary fluid in it. Go ahead now and fire it up and see how she runs. All right, now I got my push rods adjusted. Got my spark plugs put back in. Brand new fresh primary fluid. Let's see how she starts up.
All right, there we go. All finished up. She ran great. She runs actually better than she ever has. She ran really good for me. So I'm happy. All right, now we're going to get some dinner. As you see some smoking going on right here. My uh, rocker box gaskets are leaking. So that's going to be one of the next things we're going to do. All right, stay tuned. Like and subscribe. And check out my other channel, This Old Harley. I'll be posting videos to that channel as well.